Hi everybody, welcome to the Short on the Outdoors, our short fork kitchen episode. Uh, today we are making cauliflower mash. Um, if you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That would be great, that helps us grow. Um, so cauliflower mash, the ingredients that you're gonna need today is gonna be a head of cauliflower, a microwave safe bowl, three to four tablespoons of water, um, you will need cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, sour cream, milk that's still in the fridge. The spices is gonna be salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika. I have broke down the cauliflower. I've placed it in my microwave safe bowl. Um, I have big chunks in here, so it doesn't really matter. We're gonna um, do like a steam in the microwave. So I'm gonna place um, three to four tablespoons of water in this. Okay, so then I take a paper towel, I place it down inside the bowl, I tuck it around all of the cauliflower. That's gonna be our steaming. And then it goes in the microwave for three minutes. You take it, shake it, put it back in the microwave for three minutes, shake it, put it back in the microwave for three minutes. Um, then take a fork and poke it in there if it's tender. Um, then it's done. If not, it'll need a few more minutes until you steam it. It just depends on how much cauliflower you have. This was a super duper small head of cauliflower I got today at the market. Um, so it probably won't take that long at all. So hang tight, please. All right, so while the cauliflower is in the microwave steaming, getting it tender so we can make the mash with it, I've gotten out our food processor. You can use a food processor, a blender, a mixer, whatever works for you. Um, you could probably even hand mash it, I guess. Um, but I use, um, it's a Hampton Beach um, food processor. I got it off of Amazon. Um, actually, I think I broke, or my husband broke it, but it's okay. Um, still works. So I use about a fourth of a block of cream cheese. I place it into my food processor. Sour cream. I use two heaping tablespoons. mozzarella cheese I would say about a fourth of a cup I don't usually measure I just kind of eyeball it um, milk I eyeball that too let me see here I would say two to three tablespoons of milk that's usually what I need once I get a mixing the cauliflower in there if I need a little more because it's too thick then I'll add a little bit more usually just milk though um, pepper I use fresh ground pepper um, this is to taste um, some people like a lot some people don't we do all right salt I would say probably about a teaspoon teaspoon and a half um, cauliflower does require some salt to taste good. Uh, garlic. Here's my garlic. If you've watched any of my episodes, I don't measure anything. I just kind of do palmfuls. Um, that was a small palmful. Here's some extra. So that's a palmful of garlic. You can use uh, fresh garlic, minced garlic. I'm using garlic powder today because it's granulated. That's what I have. Um, paprika, smoked paprika, it's going to be probably about a half a teaspoon, yeah, about a half a teaspoon. All right, I got just a few seconds on my cauliflower, I'm going to check it, it's been placed in the microwave two times now at three minutes, so six minutes, um, I'll see if it's done, it was a super duper small head, so it might be done, um, so bear with me just for a second. So the cauliflower is done. It actually only took six minutes in the microwave because how small the head is. Um, there is some water left in the bottom of it. What I will do is I'll place it in a strainer in my sink, um, let it drain. You want to get most, if not all, the water off of it. I also will take paper towels and bat it so it's um, pretty much dry. Hold on, we're coming right back. Okay, so the cauliflower is steamed it's very tender I drained all of the water off of it patted it dry with um, paper towel I'm going to place it now into um, this container here for the food processor and then I'm going to place it on to the 
food processor and get it started here. Always have to taste test it. You might need to add things that you like, more salt, more pepper. Just a little bit more in the food processor. It was a little chunky, wasn't as mashy as I like. That's it, that's good. So what I will also do is I'll take that out um, and place it into a baking pan and then sprinkle a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top. Um, if you want, you can sprinkle some par or, um, parsley or basil, whatever you might want for flavoring. Um, throw in the oven, just crisp the top with the um, cheese on it, and you're good to go. It was super easy. I mean, it took maybe 15 minutes, if that, um, for a side. Um, so, yeah, if you like this recipe, please like, please follow, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel.